heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Clive, was it? Didn't sound happy. Take a seat, Clive. I'll fetch you. So you're really going through with it? Sis been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dane. And it's the Dane who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back, and she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind you know with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then? Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail? Well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cut us a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northreach in a few days. You two behave now.
So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing off to the vineyard to see the lad? Master Quinton. I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Ah, oh, glory to Grega. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please. Rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. That must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Get him! Get him, boy! Sick of Togo! to them. I'd better let Quinton's man know. Now his daughter had been stealing off to the vineyard to see the lad. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. 
I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotan Druge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. The man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Don't tell me. Turnips for supper. Can I have another cup, Daddy? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly? Mm. 
Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Don't tell me. Turnips for supper.